Apology staff clearly has uh, trust in you and confidence in you and um, said that you deserve another shot at this. It has to be self-gratifying. Oh yeah, it feels good. You know, it feels good that uh, you know all the preparation, hard work has has really paid off, and uh, I'm glad that the uh, coaching staff has some faith in me and some trust in me, and, and I know the team does as well. Is it awkward a little bit with you know just the situation where you know Terrell wants to start? Or are you guys good? Or you know we have a healthy relationship. You know, I mean I don't think it really matters who starts. You know, guys are going to help out with, and Tyler as well helps out. You know, we all kind of help each other each on a daily basis. And at the end of the day, it's, it's the most important thing is, is getting a win. Does this feel different? You know, last week you started because Terrell's injured. This week you're starting because of the way you played. Is any different feel for you? Um, no. Hurt? There's no different approach or, or anything like that. It's, you know, business as usual. I um, thought we had a great practice out there today. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens in our meetings this afternoon, and, and we'll go from there. Did you surprise yourself at all on how well you played? Last week. Did I surprise myself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I guess you can all, you always, I mean, no, no picks, no, you, you mean, always surprise mm -hmm. yourself mm -hmm. at times, you know, each and every day you do mm -hmm. something a little different that you didn't expect to do. So, um, I mean, that's good to see. It shows that, you know, you know you're changing, maybe you're getting a little better. The, uh, the work you're putting in is paying off. So I was happy to see that. Yeah. Nice what, are things you, are, what are things that you want to, want to do in this game that you could build off the last game? Um, you know, maybe do some uh, things differently, you know, the decision making. I know we can be better on third down. That's kind of uh, something we want to focus on this week. So, Is it nice to be in a spot where everybody, er you know, everybody earns their playing time and things like that, that you were able to kind of fight your way up despite the fact that, you, you know, unheralded this and that, but, you know, that you were able that if you play well, you were going to well, play Well, I mean, it's, it's a performance-based business, right. and at the end of the day, you got to perform to play, and, uh, you know, we did play well last week, so, I mean, I, you know, I think uh, coach is, you know, doing the right thing, sticking with uh, with what we had and, and, and see what happens. Mike Munchak was talking today in the conference call about <laughs> Scranton and the way that Scranton embraces their own. And I was just curious as to what feedback you've got from the hometown just from the last couple of days. You know, the support's great. You know, obviously uh, back home in Scranton with, you know, Coach Munchak being the head guy there and and uh, when I was playing them this week. There's going to be, uh, you know, a lot of eyes on the TV. A lot of calls and texts, and uh, you know, a lot of support back home. So uh, you know, I'm excited about it. Last week, you probably entered with you know a nothing to lose attitude. Maybe is this week a little bit more pressure though, because you could continue to start if you do play well. I mean, I don't think so. You know, um, you kind of want to be relaxed when you play. Uh, I think last week we were you know we were very prepared. You know, we had a great week of practice, and you know we started off today. You know, unfortunately it was rainy out there, but uh, I think we still got a lot of work done. Um, and like I said, I don't you know feel any added pressure or anything like that. It's just uh, you know, go out and play and uh, and see what happens. You surprise yourself at all with the speed of your progress in your return You know, I'm I mean I'm, I'm surrounded by great coaches. Um, I'm surrounded by some very good players on this team and you know when, when you when you're you know surrounded by by that and and by guys that work hard, it can't help but rub off on you. So, uh, you know, I don't think I was too surprised at how we played last week. Looking back at Sunday, was it, like, is there anything that sticks uh, with you in terms of being critical of yourself that you feel like you need to improve? Yeah, I think we just have to finish better. Okay. I mean, that's all. You know, uh, that we came off to a good start. Um, you know, obviously going up 14-0, uh, and then, you know, they took the lead. But I think. Uh, you know, in the fourth quarter, we, we have to do a better job. There are a lot of drop passes there. Um, have you reached out to any of the receivers now that you're in that quarterback position to try to get an understanding and feel of just how your game is to just improve on that? We're, we're correcting those problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's going to happen. You know, mm -hmm. uh, things like that will happen. But, I mean, at the end of the day, that's why that's why you practice. You know, that's why you're able to communicate with guys, and, and we are fixing that. Yeah. I mean, has your communication increased now that you're starting quarterback? Have you I mean, or do you guys I don't think so. Time? I talk all the time. Like okay. I said, I, my locker's right next to you know rods okay. and, and, and a lot of the wideouts. So uh, you know, we're constantly talking about the game. You know, talking about other things, having fun. So now uh, the communication has never been an issue. You heard from a lot, lot of people since Sunday. Shout out. Friend, you, you know, know the. Uh, I mean, the support has always been good. You know, regardless if I was a starter or not. So, uh, and uh, I did hear from a lot of people, but it was a lot of the same people, which is which is great to see. And uh, you know how supportive they are. And you know, I'm really fortunate to have those people in my life. So you're obviously not uh, not superstitious. You know, three touchdown passes in your first game with a beard, and then you shave it off. <laughs> you know, I was uh, I was just getting tired of it. Yeah, that's, that's really it. Some of the players uh, actually, you know, there were four drop passes probably that were on them, and they admit that they said they were a little just surprised, maybe with the zip uh, on the ball. Um, well, you know, that's the way I throw, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, they're used to it now, and you know, they'll. I mean, and I know they're used to it, and you know, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Those guys will they'll make the right adjustments and they'll get the job done. Played the number one defense this last week. Now you go against Tennessee. What do you see on film from them? 
I mean, it's, it's a good team. You know, they have uh, they lost a lot of close games that could have went either way. And, uh, you know, we're aware of that. You know, they have very good secondary. You know, they're good up front. I mean, overall, it's a good defense, well-coached football team. So uh, we have our hands full, and, uh, you know, but uh, we're ready for the challenge. When did you find out from Coach John that you were going to start this next game? What's that? Did you find out today you were going to start the next game? Or was um, it a few days ago? You know, I, I mean, I went out there and took the, you know, first team reps today, so I kind of assumed it. But, uh... Yeah, that's kind of you know how I found out, I guess. <laughs> how do you approach this? That you have the job the rest of the uh, way as long as you you're playing well, or is this a game to game thing? Do you have a well, good you know? I mean, for as long as I play well, you know, I would hope that you know I would keep getting more and more opportunities to to start. Um, you know, but the, the main be, main thing being there is playing well, and um, you know we know what it takes. Last week, obviously, you know, we did a great job. Um, so hopefully we can continue that. Did you ever imagine entering the season? You know, Coach always said that you're just a, another Camp Arm, and he, he, you surprised him, but that you would be the starter right now. Um, I mean, you know, the kind of mindset that I've always taken, you know, to practice or film or anything like that is I, you know, I really never took a backseat to anybody. I didn't, you know, put myself in the position that, hey, I'm buried behind all these guys. I, you know, I really don't look at you know who's ahead of me on the depth chart who's behind me on the depth chart I think I figure it's just you know each is a, a better way to to get better um, improve as a leader improve as a person so I mean now that I'm in the, the starting position I mean the mindset still hasn't changed uh, I do know now that I have to work harder to keep this position so uh, you know, but I'm but I'm accepting that and I'm ready for it I enjoy it thanks Matt Hey, thank you. All right, guys. What's, um, what's DA's message been this week now that this team's in the playoff picture? You know, it's kind of, I mean, my mindset is, you know, why don't you just go out and win over? You know, so uh, uh, take it one game at a time, uh, one day at a time, one practice at a time, and, and go from there. We are aware, you know, of where we stand. And, uh, you know, if that doesn't get you going and get you motivated every day, then, you know, I don't know what will.